Uh, hello good people and welcome to another Funza Academy math video. In this video we will look at two questions that were asked during interviews at companies such as Google, Facebook and Microsoft. Now before you start thinking that these questions require advanced mathematical concepts, let me tell you that they do not. I personally found them a lot of fun and learnt a lot from trying to solve them. And thus I hope you to find them useful. So let us begin, shall we? So here is problem number one. You have eight balls, all of the same size. Seven balls weigh the same, but one of them weighs slightly more. How can you find the ball that is heavier by using a balance and only two weighings? So please pause this video and try to solve the problem. When you are ready, you can compare your answer with our solution. So good luck. Okay guys, welcome back. Now here is one solution. We will split the eight balls into three groups of three, three and two balls. We first choose balls in group one and group two and weigh them. If one group is heavier, we know that the heavier ball is in this group, so we keep this group aside. Of course, if both groups weigh the same, we know that the heavier ball is in group 3. Now, if both groups weigh the same and the heavier ball is in group 3, it is obviously simple to find the heavier ball. We just weigh both the balls in group 3 and find out the heavier ball. On the other hand, if the heavy ball is either in group 1 or 2, still things are very simple. We can just pick up any two balls from this group and weigh them. If they are the same, the unweighed ball is the heavier one. Of course, if they are different, then the heavier of the two is the ball we are looking for. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this problem. As per the internet, this question was asked during job interviews at both Google and Facebook. Alright, now let's look at problem number two. You have got someone working for you for seven days. And for their work, you plan to give them a gold bar. Oh yes, a gold bar. But there are some conditions, so please note them carefully. Condition number one, you must pay the worker in gold for their work at the end of every day. And condition number two, you are only allowed to make two breaks in the gold bar. Now for this problem, we will assume that equal amount of work is done daily, which means that you pay an equal amount of gold to the worker every day. So once again, please pause this video. And the question is, how do you pay your worker? Welcome back. Now here is one solution. We will divide our gold bar as follows. We make the first cut here and the second cut here, dividing the gold bar into fractions which are 1 by 7, 2 by 7 and 4 by 7. Now I will just refer to these fractions as part 1, part 2 and part 4. Okay, so please make a note of this. Now the worker can be paid as follows. On day one, we can give the worker part one of the gold bar. On day two, we will give the worker part two and take back part one. On day three, we will let the worker keep part two, but give them part one also, which means that they have three parts. On day four, we take back part one and part two and give the worker part four. On day 5, we let the worker keep part 4 and also give them part 1. On day 6, we take back part 1 and letting them keep part 4 and part 2. And finally, on day 7, we give the worker part 1 so that they have all three parts which are part 1, part 2 and part 4. So guys, did you manage to solve both answers or did you manage to find a better solution? Please 
Don't forget to post your comments and tell me what you think of this video. If you have any other ideas for a video, please let me know too. Thanks a lot and bye for now.